Oh my goodness, what is she doing a seance? I don't hold seances very often, but my mother told me Goody is the only one that can train me to control my- Okay, she's trying to contact Goody. Sorry, you have a relative named Goody? I've been attempting to summon her, but she seems to be ignoring my entreaties. Oh, who's this? If you want answers, meet inside Crackstone's Crypt Midnight. Who could this be? Xavier or, um, Bianca? Okay, we brought Eden with us. We brought backup Qualls. Seems like our wannabe deep throat is already here. Who is this? Who could it be? Who has access to this building where they can um send her a note? Oh, I love the platform shoes. Her outfits are to die. Like her outfits are so cute. Try anything and you'll lose limbs. Surprise! Oh my goodness, Xavier and who? Are, who are y'all? I don't recognize y'all. Me? You had something to do with this? Ain't that you did also? I'm so done. I should have known it wasn't anything serious because who could send her this letter? I should have known you were behind this. Right. We should have known this thing. I thought my cake design was pretty inspired. I like Xavier. I don't care. I don't want Tyler. I want Xavier for her. He seemed to have gotten over his little, um, his little spat at the dance. Fire will rain when I rise. Who wrote okay, that? It's not really a wish. Crackstone. This was burned on an Evermore's lawn. We're never eating that cake. Oh, Ajax, you're here too? Oh my goodness, here we go. Catch her, y'all. She's gonna hit her head. Crackstone, he's coming. Oh, now you want to talk to me? Now you want to talk? All right, good. Ask all your questions right now while she's talking. To stop Crackstone, these ways we must seek. Unless the monster is like Crackstone's little pet. The path of a raven is a solitary one. You end up alone, unable to trust others. Right. That's exactly how I feel right now. Who can we trust? Chapter something. Quit pro quo. Chapter, what is this? Episode six? What happened? It looked like you were having a seizure. I wasn't that lucky. Can I at least get some kudos for pulling one over on you? Thing, what are you doing? Thing is actually so strong. Those fingers must have a whole bunch of muscles in them. Wow, we're still accepting presents. What is it? A rag? Well. A scarf? What is it exactly? Oh, <laughs> right. It's a snood, silly. I made it in your signature colors. I've never heard of this. I suggest we wait for a more special occasion, like a funeral. <laughs> Lucas feels terrible about what happened at the dance, but he had nothing to do with burning those words onto your lawn. Oh no, that was someone over here. Someone over here who did that, who did that, Crackstone. Although, all fingers would point to one of your own students. Careful now. Nope, not a student, but teacher. Last night in the crypt, you had another vision, didn't you? I didn't realize we were back on speaking terms. Right, I'm saying like they're friendly. Who said I was ready to speak with you? Oh, you're mad at him for what? What are you mad about? You still think I'm the monster. Oh. I haven't ruled it out. Yeah, well, when you change your mind and you want my help, you know where to find me. He has such an attitude all the time. It's like, ugh, right, Xavier, I just want to root for you so badly, but like, you're not gonna get the girl acting like this. Get it together. I'm trying to get your ship to sail here. Work with me. Hello, Bianca. Haven't seen you in a while. Where'd you get that? The bracelet. We should jump him. He's in here with the outcast. Let's jump him. <laughs> Morning song? So he could help me refocus my life. They're only interested in your money. How do you know? I just do. Okay. Which is why I'm warned. Is that something or no? Is that something or no? I don't like Lucas though. We need someone better than Lucas. Not a compliment. I don't like Lucas. His name being Lucas is a disgrace to Lucas from Stranger Things. A disgrace. Be at the weather vane later if you want to stop by. I don't care. He has a lot of improvement. He has a lot of work to do for before I start shipping him with anyone, especially not Bianca. It's been against birthdays. Each one reminds me I'm a year closer to death's cold embrace. Besides, my parents always made sure my birthdays were memorable. Oh, here we go. Oh, more trauma. Trauma for us. <laughs> Lovely for her. You actually had kids who came. Oh, I know they never came back again. I know they never came back again. What brings you here? Eugene's mom's. Who's goody? Mind your business. We are not in session right now. Sent cousin. How do you know about her? She doesn't see you for who you really are. Okay, the therapist is suspicious now, but if it's, if she's the monster, I'd be disappointed. Laurel Gates. Tyler. Working on that all week. I don't hate Tyler, but I just. 
prefer the other one. So if I asked you out to a non-birthday song-free dinner, would that be something you're interested in? Say no, say no, say no! I want to sink this ship. Have you seen that before? Uh, what's that supposed to be? <laughs> what's that supposed to be? Mm, Tyler, I'm on to you. You're too bland. Okay, did, did I do something? You're too bland. You have to have a bigger story than this. It's also etched on the wall inside Crackstone's crypt. Don't tell me you've been out there digging up more bodies. There's a connection there, I know it. Right, I need the sheriff to start listening. I figured since you no longer have an old vendetta to obsess over, you're free to solve some real crime. Exactly. Do some real work around here, sheriff. Figure out who's killing people, sheriff. At this point, let's, we're gonna have to put, uh, she gonna be the lead and, oh, uh, Xavier? This is how he does his art? Very aggressive. I need your help. Don't gloat. <laughs> <laughs> Xavier! Please don't be the bad guy. Do you recognize it? You drew this also? I started having those dreams again. Yeah, like why? Because why? I could feel it in the shadow. There's a reason why you're having the dreams, Xavier. You're connected somehow. What is he? Honestly, what the heck is he? Does he just have powers to turn ink into real life things? What is he? Bing! <laughs> Bing! Wait, what? After the dance, I just wanted to forget about you, but I couldn't. So you drew her? So I started painting, and that's what came out, all right? So what's wrong with it? Why is she looking like that? Is it bad or good? Do you like it? I don't know. Here you up there playing. <laughs> Come on, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. I feel like it's the only time I get to see the real you. Come on. Come on, Wednesday. Don't run away. Yes, things my little, my favorite little wing man. Things my little wing hand. <laughs> A little wing hand thing. Wednesday forgot this. Could you give it back to her? Aren't you a boyfriend? No. Definitely not. Exactly. Definitely not. Why'd you trash the dance? Guess I was angry that my dad was humiliated on outreach day. Let me pay back. That's why you've been acting stupid since we saw you. Literally since we saw you. Like that's not why you did it. This is not your first time you've done something. This is where Garrett Gates lived. The boy my father was accused of murdering. The sheriff told me his family died. Okay, so now that the fire has been lit a little bit on the um Xavier Wednesday ship, then I will make Tyler suspicious because what's his point of being on the show? Not just for a little measly love triangle. Tyler's the monster probably. Because otherwise, what's his point? Unless she's just mad at Tyler for some random reason and she's just taking a break from him and she's gonna come back eventually. Mayor? Oh, because he's investigating Laurel, right? Or Lauren or whatever her name was. For some reason, he wanted her death certificate. So what the heck? This mayor is so shysty. Listen, I might have figured out who's behind all of this. Is he going to see Wednesday getting out? Wait, why'd you follow him? He's literally just going into town. <gasps> what? What? <gasps> what the? Who did that? Someone just assassinated the mayor. You are 911. This is not me. Don't even think about it. What were you doing in the back of the mayor's SUV? I saw him coming out of the Gates Mansion. Gates Mansion? What the hell were you doing? Investigating, House. doing your job. But when someone is run over on their way to give the police key information, it usually means they were onto something. I don't believe in ghosts. Maybe you should. We have werewolves, sirens, and every other creature, and you don't believe in ghosts? Okay, yeah, that's the one thing you don't believe in? As of now, the school is on full lockdown, and your off-campus privileges are revoked until further notice. So no more therapy? Great. Look how she's standing. She, she's such a queen. So much presence in that stance. Imagine witnessing something like that. Oh, the teacher. Principal Weems is only looking out for your best interests. And look at her eyes. They're kind of big like the monster. And that terrible wig is hiding something. Well, I think it's very smart that you're focusing on literary monsters and leaving whatever real ones might be out there to the authority. I bet you would want that, huh? But she will expel you if you continue to defy her. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time she's been expelled. Steer clear of Wednesday, Adam. She's the kind of girl who's gonna get you hurt. Leave me another type. Why the heck? Man, Why? This would be about mom. I'm gonna say, right? Is that mom? Of course not. Was she an outcast? Right. If mom was an outcast, that means Tyler could possibly be a monster. Ooh. Beef right here. Father-son fighting is low-key kind of scary. <laughs> Did you ever even love her? Was oh, she an outcast? We know nothing about his mom. We know nothing about the mom. More than you could ever know. Okay, he has gone higher on the list of suspects. Thing, you know what to do, right? I thought we were going on a date. I thought this was a girl's night out. She's lying to everyone. Who's this? Xavier? Hey, Wednesday? 
Why are you out here? You guys in here? What are you doing? You can't enter a girl's room like this. Thing, what are you doing here? Where is she, Thing? Oh, <laughs> thing, Thing, you need to be on guard better. So we can easily kidnap you, Thing. <laughs> We're not Thing getting scared. Then you should've just said so. You didn't have to trick us. Right, you don't have to trick us. <laughs> if you wanna go, you can. Next time, say that before we even come here. I've, we've driven too far to turn back now. Okay, so if Xavier pops up, they're gonna try to make us think that Xavier's the monster. Because Thing is gonna tell Xavier where she is. Okay, let me try. Oh, monster strength. Let's see it. Never mind. Guess not. Oh. Okay, maybe Tyler isn't the monster. He should have been able to open that door. The Gates family. Why did Goody lead me here? Their Crackstone's descendants must be, right? Seen enough? That was scary. We're still warm. Who's here? All right, Tyler, you check the rest of the ground floor. We're gonna leave Tyler here to check alone? He's a normie. The bed's made. No dust or cobwebs. Is the death certificate fake? LG. Laurel. She died 25 years ago, drowned overseas. So they say. All right, get out, it's here. It's here, who's it? What? 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 Why is it here? Where's Tyler? Oh okay, so it's not Enid. It's not Enid, bro. It's not Enid. She's crossed off the list. Bro, this is crazy. And Tyler, didn't he sound a little bit too calm saying that? That's weird. It has to be Tyler. Bro. Bro, it's Tyler. I feel like Tyler would have screamed more. Tyler would have screamed more if he saw the monster. He's never saw the monster and he was that calm saying it. I don't know. I don't think it's Tyler, but it could be. These are the body parts missing from the monster's victims. But he wouldn't kill Wednesday, right? Because he saved Wednesday before. He wouldn't kill her. We have to go back for Tyler. Bro. Oh. It's not Tyler. Can you walk? Huh? <gasps> Xavier! Where do you come from? No. It's not Xavier, bro. It's not. Oh my goodness, you didn't. You're not helping your case. You're not helping your case. Ah, no. <laughs> He's not helping his case. And now Tyler is seemingly in the clear. This was you, wasn't it? Like that. Sheriff, I understand you're upset, but I think you need to see something. Maybe oh, it's not Xavier, but I'm, I'm, I don't think it's Tyler either. They cleared it out. The, the body parts and the blue Cadillac. Okay, it's not Xavier or Tyler. Or Enid. Somebody cleared this place out after we left. The teacher. Almost getting my son and your friends killed. Huh? The teacher is Laurel Gates. You are forbidden from seeing Tyler, and you are forbidden from pursuing anything to do with this case. Understood? Um, go tell Tyler that. <laughs> I can see who I want. You can't forbid me from seeing him. You're not my dad. You're the law, but you don't have that type of authority. You directly violated my explicit order, not to mention putting your peers and yourself in. Why are we blaming me? My peers have a mind of their own. But I think I'm meant to save it. I think I deserve another chance. Please. Oh, she said, please. One more infraction. And you're done. Good night. Oh, you're mad at her? I already apologized. It's over. For you. Over? To you. You will use anyone to get what you want, even if it means putting them in danger. Very true. Really, really, really hard to be your friend. And you were doing so well. I never asked you to do that. You didn't have to because that's what friends do. No. And the fact that you don't know that says everything. My friendship. This was a genuine friendship. I really loved it. Goody warned that I was destined to be alone. Goody did say that. But for the first time in my life, it doesn't feel good. See? She made friends. She built connections. That death is close at hand. I think that Laurel Gates is the normie, the normie teacher. That makes the most sense, doesn't it? That's why she has that wig on to cover her blonde hair. That house, that family, Crackstone, the monster, somehow me. <laughs> somehow me. We all seem to be connected like a spider's web. Right. Eugene. Oh, that's not Eugene. That's the mayor. <gasps> he was silenced. Wow. I will find you. Hear it. It's not Enid. It's not Xavier. Them trying to make it seem like if it's Xavier is too. It's too forced. Like, oh my goodness. Every time something happens, Xavier pops up. Like, we're. I don't. It's not him. It's not him. It's not. I. Uh, it's not Tyler. It's not Tyler. 
Hold on. Why wouldn't the monster kill Tyler? You mean to tell me Tyler, who couldn't even open the door, escaped the monster's grasp? Yeah, if it's not Tyler, y'all need to explain that, because why wouldn't the monster just kill Tyler? Mm-mm, Tyler's still a suspect. Tyler's still I tried, I was going to, like, leave his trail, but no. Danny Elfman did things by uh, Danny Elfman and Timber, and they just cannot be apart, can they? I was leaving the Tyler, I was leaving the Tyler trail, I was going to leave him alone, but it's too weird. For some reason, part of me wants to say it's not Tyler, but the fact that the monster didn't kill Tyler, just scratched him, is weird. Because we know that's not what the monster does. The monster kills whoever he sees. He didn't spare Eugene. He didn't spare Rowan. The only person we seen the monster spare was um, Wednesday. He didn't spare the guy who was on the trail. But they, he spared Tyler for what? Either the monster knows Tyler or something. It's not Xavier though. Hold on, we're at a funeral? Whose funeral is this? Who died? The mayor. But why Why are we at the funeral? I enjoy funerals. Oh, that's why. Mayor Walker was murdered, and I know the killer is here, standing innocently. Aw, Lucas, he lost his dad. And watching everything I do. It's not Xavier. He just likes you. <laughs> this monster is inconsistent. It still went after. It still went... It still went after Wednesday, even though it spared her life before. And it didn't kill Tyler when we seen it kill Tyler all the time. I mean, when we, 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 we seen it kill people <laughs> all the time. It's never spared anyone's life. This monster is so inconsistent. But the final gambit has yet to be played. And we still didn't know T about his mom. The killer will make a mistake, and I'll be ready. It already made the mistake. It didn't kill Tyler. Crackstone! Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester! Hi, body. Chapter 7. If you don't woe me by now. Oh, someone's about to get their heart broken then. It's called a hide. Hmm? Isn't Jekyll and Hyde? Hmm? You know? Till one night she transformed in the middle of a Chopin sonata. What triggered her? Or did she just change on her own? Try Nathaniel Faulkner's diary? This is a new development. Thank you, Uncle Fester. We'll sneak into the Nightshade's library tonight. We'll. In the meantime, Layla. You bringing Uncle Fester also? No. Leave the bees alone. <laughs> and I know how many is inside there also. Is Enid still mad at us? This is the third time in 24 hours you've forgotten something. So? How is everything going? You want to be friends again? Spit it out. Knowing distractions, I'm almost finished with my novel. Was I? You were hurt the other day. I had some annoying habits. You were hurt when I left. Admit it. Yoko and I are so in sync that she's begging me to be her new roomie. Permanently. You hit Yoko, don't you? Enjoy your solitude Wednesday. It's not solitude if you're still here. <sighs> girls, girls, girls. Let's just kiss and make up already. Okay, Laurel Gates, back to my Laurel Gates theory. Laurel Gates is either Tyler's mom or Laurel Gates is the normie teacher. I just don't remember her name. Who's Uncle Fester? What are you doing here? Since I'm an actual nightshade, I don't have to explain myself. That's true. Research. On a monster? Why are you mad? You're literally always mad. You know what your problem is? Why are you mad? You don't know who your real friends are. I've been on your side since day one. Or because she keeps accusing you. I believed your theories when nobody else did. I'm like, what do I get in return? Just nothing but suspicion and lies. Every time the monster has attacked, you have been right there. <laughs> Starting with Rowan at the Harvest Festival. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's kinda suspicious, but they want you to think that. Think outside the box. You even drew where I lived. Then when Eugene went to investigate, you tried to kill him so he wouldn't spill your little secret. Oh my goodness. You think I would hurt Eugene? It's oh my goodness. Oh. It's so not him, it's crazy. It's magic. Who else has been in, in the, all those situations? Tyler, in most of those situations. Why haven't I killed you? Because you like her. Because for some reason I cannot fathom or indulge, you seem to like me. What's to like? Xavier, come back here right now. Ugh, this is so messy. Uh, uh, he does like her. She doesn't like him, but she he's not the monster, even if evidence points towards him. Long enough to feel the tension between you two. Yeah. Right. The tension between those two. The tension between those two. Here it is. The hide lays dormant until unleashed by a traumatic event or unlocked through chemical inducement. What? This act causes the hide to develop an immediate bond with its liberator. The creature Ooh. now sees it's its master. I, I, 
I said it. I said it. It's someone's pet. It's someone's pet, bro. Bro. That means I'm not looking for one killer, but two. But two. The monster and its master. I said, unless it's someone's pet. <sighs> and in comes the master, or she could be the monster. Is it really so difficult for you to admit that you made a friend and now that she's gone, you might actually miss her? I'll survive alone. I always have. But it was nice having a friend. Come on, admit it. I'll submit the forms to Principal Weems. Okay, so now we have new information. Who could be the monster and who could be the master? Laurel has to be one of the one of them. I need to talk to you. No, like, like right now. Yeah, I know where that is. Xavier, what the heck? Okay, bye. Who what are you talking, talking to? <laughs> I know what you are, Xavier. Can you stay the hell away from me? Girl, you really think it's him? I don't know. It could be. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's follow him because I need to know. Who was that? Kimbot? I had a dream you died. Is Kimbot Laurel? Speak of the devil. And she shall appear. Is Kimbot the master and Xavier is the monster? I'm seeing you on Monday. We can start then. What did you so urgently need to discuss with? It can wait. Is it them two? It could be those two. Kimbot and Weems. Monster and master. I'm suspecting everyone. I need a clear thought. Kinbot has to be Xavier's master. That's what I thought, but it's too obvious. Tyler, this is my uncle Fester. It's called a hide. That's it from that night. Real creep. Oh my goodness. You seen him, no. Yeah, you'd be pretty hard to miss. Yeah, it'd be pretty hard to miss. Tyler, he has an interesting way of talking. So, about rescheduling our date. Don't say anything about that. Figure after what happened last time, you owe me. I'll come to you. 9 p.m. Crackstone's crib. I hate this. It's not a date. It's a quid pro quo for almost getting him disemboweled. Watch that diary. Right here. One second. What is this? You can open your eyes now. I hate this show. I hate this show for giving the for giving those who the cutest moments and blacklisting Xavier. I'm sorry, but nothing you could do, Tyler, is gonna be cuter than Xavier drawing those pictures. Those that picture and then making it move with the violin. I mean, with the cello. Come on. I guess this is cute, also. Prepare to be horrified. <laughs> Legally blonde. Oh, it's a horror to her. Okay, I'll admit that little date thing was cute. That was torture. It was. Okay, don't. Hate me, but I'm just gonna come out and say it. I want us to be more than friends. Ah! You'll snap out of it. Don't do that. Say no, say no, say no, say no, say no, say no. I'll ignore you, stomp on your heart, and always put my needs and interests first. He's okay with that. Hey, you can keep trying to push me away. It's not gonna work. Why? Fine. Go ahead and let the ship sail. She was actually gonna kiss him. The diary. Thing. You, did you not do your job? <gasps> thing! Uh, is Thing dead? Wave your pinky, Thing. Wave your pinky. Someone stole the, thi the diary and killed Thing. Thing, close his wound. No, close his wound. <gasps> thing! Yay! Promise that whoever did this to you will suffer. Long. And excruciatingly painful. Right, because Wednesday does not let no one mess with her family. We really have to close that hole up thing. Whoever ran my room also saw Nathaniel Faulkner's diary. That's supposed to be safely locked in the Nightshade's library. So you do know about the diary, which means you also know the monster we're after is called a hide. She knows everything. Well, she wouldn't be the principal or a good one if she didn't. That's like Dumbledore not knowing stuff about Hogwarts or the wizarding world. Faulkner spent years studying hides. He wanted to determine if they were just mindless killers or conscious of their actions. If you suspect someone, you need to tell me. Why? I am protecting our Nevermore family, which also includes you, Miss Adams. I know she does things in a way that Wednesday doesn't agree, but I don't think she's evil, nefarious, or plotting, or I don't think she's bad. Apparently, the Gates Mansion was purchased a year ago by a 90 year old candy heiress. She then year ago? She died and gave all of her belongings to her caregiver. A year ago? Who's been here for a year? The normie teacher. You know who Laurel is, don't you? You know. Oh. I was off. It's her? It's the therapist? Her childhood room. Oh. 
Wah, 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 wah. The therapist. You're not actually accusing me of murdering the mayor. The roses you left in Eugene's room were your mistake. Well, she's been wrong before. I know all about the secret sessions you've been holding in your car. Please be wrong. I hope she's wrong. Time's up, Laurel. What? It's the therapist? I mean, I throw it out there, but I said it'd be disappointed. And her behavior was completely irrational. It's not Kimba, bro. It's not Kimba, it's the teacher like I knew. Who just came back here a year ago? Ah! <laughs> it's not Kimba, you're wrong, Wednesday. It's the teacher. The teacher's been here for a year and a half and she still doesn't fit in. The house was just purchased a year ago. It matches her perfectly. Actually, you left it in Thing. How long have you been seeing Kimba? He would not kill Thing. Because I'm the villain in your fantasy. I feel so bad for Xavier because he just likes her. I wasn't in your room. Believe me or don't believe me. I enjoyed this one in particular. What? No, he had dreams about her because he said he had dreams. What is Rowan's inhaler doing in your shed? Are Eugene's glasses? Kimbot's necklace. No, no, no. Somebody planted that stuff. Freeze! Get down on your knees. What? No. She did that. Are you kidding me? You, you framed me. Why would you do that? Being set up. I that's let so. Rowan kill you. That's so messed up, bro. That's so messed up. It's not him. It's so clearly not him. You framed him just to get your. I thought you wanted to be a real detective. You're planting evidence. What's that about? I'm gone for a few days. The place gets trashed, and thing almost dies. I miss Eugene. I'm sorry about Xavier. He's a liar and a killer. Besides. There's nothing quite like the feeling of being proven right. You don't believe that, do you? Thing may have blabbed about your date with Tyler. I heard Tyler's working the late shift. I really hope that the height's Tyler, bro. It is not Xavier. I'm so upset by about this. I'm so upset by this. My ship didn't sail, and now Xavier's going down for a murder he did not commit. Dad told me what happened to Xavier. Pretty nuts. I'm so That guy always seems so normal, you know? Yeah, like you. Outcast. No, you seem weird for a normie. This made me reevaluate things. Like who I can trust. Does that mean you're ready to be more than friends? <sighs> Tender emotional music for what? Whatever, I don't care. This is not my ship. And, it, and my ship didn't sail, so there's no reason for me to be happy about this. I'm so upset. I feel like Xavier when he was all miserable at the party, at the ball. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Tyler. Too calmly, too calmly, bro. <laughs> bro, bro. He said it was the monster. Too calmly, too calmly, bro. Yes, I have a type. Now who's controlling him? Period. 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 I picked the right ship to sail. I picked the right ship to board, bro. I picked the right ship. I bet everyone who was shipping Tyler and Wednesday feel like the Titanic right now. I really hope that y'all do because I want Xavier. Now, it may not happen because she did frame my boy for murder. But the point is, I was right, bro. I was right, bro. <laughs> when have we ever seen the monster spare anyone's life? Never. The monster has always killed. Bro. I'm done, bro. I'm so done. Let's watch the last episode because I... Bro, we're just getting right into it. No Netflix thingy. Hold on. Bro, the fact that it's Tyler, not only did I call it, but I'm so glad it's him because I want my Xavier ship to sail. I was surprised you wanted to see me again after you ran out the other night. Oh, shoot, she didn't tell him. Is this a date? But he's a high, so he doesn't know he's being controlled, right? Who's controlling you? The teacher with the glasses. Romance was the last thing on my mind. It wasn't the last thing on my mind, ma'am. Soon as I seen Xavier. Xavier warned me about you, but I didn't listen. Uh, Ironic would have been framing Xavier for murder while the real hide helped me put him away. You don't think- I don't think. I know. I know. You've been wrong before though. The night of the Raven, you overheard Eugene and me discussing your cave in the woods and you warned Kimbot. Then she sent you to clean up her mess. 
And if you really thought that I was, why would you risk bringing me out to the woods to confront me alone? Right. She's not alone. Oh, we bought the gang, 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 gang. Too bad Xavier's not here. Hmm. You're coming with us. Oh, yes. We finally get to hear you say siren. Yes, and siren powers. Do you recognize her? Perhaps if I hadn't been so distracted by That's my your mom? mother hogging this photo, I would have noticed yours. Your father fell in love and married an outcast. Ooh, call that one. Fine, my mom was an outcast. That doesn't make me a monster. She was a hide. Wednesday, what are you doing? Just some light torture. Wait, are you, are you being serious? Which I thought this was. Thanks. This girl is crazy. No. Wait. No, I'm done. I didn't sign up for this. Yeah, for real. Let's not do this to him, because he doesn't know. One step ahead of his father. I don't think he knows about this though. He's a high. What about the hypnosis part? No, don't, don't, don't leave me here with her, please. I'm begging you, please. I think he's regretting ever talking to her right now. Wednesday? No, please. Oh, if they're giving us the intro. Bro, okay, so I feel kind of bad for him because I don't think he knows. It's different if he knew. But who's his master? We still don't know who his master is. Thornhill. Is his master Kimbot? I don't feel like that's confirmed yet. When I press him on his mother or any sensitive issue, he snaps. Becoming cold and detached. It's like I'm talking to a different person. Well, Kimbot was scared of Tyler. We have a problem. And her name is Wednesday Adams. Wow, y'all called the police? I mean, y'all told Weems on her? What was she collecting them for? I don't understand. Why are you doing this? Leave him alone. I don't think he knows. I don't want him to be tortured. I just don't want, I just don't want this ship to sail. Wednesday, you did not handle this right at all. You weren't supposed to do this. You were supposed to catch him in the act and, you know, something like that. When I gave you that call from the cave, did you already know the truth? Xavier Thorpe is our hide. You want it to be. You and that's why I'm giving you one. You want it to be, just like you wanted Gomez to be the murderer. This sheriff sucks. This sheriff is so stupid. He doesn't know how to do his job correctly. Get out. I was already leaving. What do you want? Ask a question. What does it feel like? What does what feel like? To lose. The woman was too stunned to speak. Oh! my gosh you know first i'd wake up naked wow oh but over time i tried to give you the benefit of the doubt i started to feel sorry for you you piece of, of cow manure and it was delicious tyler you're going down my boy you're going you have no idea what's coming you're going down. Who's your master? Spill it. Since you're telling all this, who's your master? He doesn't know. It's like he gets hypnotized. Just like what Kimbot said. It's sometimes he becomes cold. He doesn't know. Or does he? Perhaps if you'd come to me with your suspicions rather than taking matters into your own hands, we could have worked together. Oh, yeah. Well, you are always covering stuff up. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that. Tyler is the hide, and he has framed Xavier. He confessed everything to me. You framed him. You framed him. That's you. You'll be on the afternoon train tomorrow. I'm sorry Nevermore didn't work out for you Wednesday. I was actually thriving here. Y'all just didn't want to see me thrive. That's what it is. I'm literally the one to crack this case. Come on. What are y'all going to do here without me? Murders. Who's this? Get him out of those chains. I'm not sure how much time we have. Thing distracted the guards and is looping the cameras. So you're going to break him free? I feel so bad for him. I know you're not the hide. Tyler used me to frame you. He is the actual hide. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> oh, I'm tied in chains. I'm locked in chains in prison. That's good to know that. It's good to know what I knew already, that I wasn't the thing. That might shed some light on the you situation. You my help. You ruined my life. Every time you get involved, people get hurt. You're toxic. All you ever do is make things worse. Don't say this. That sucks. I feel so bad for him. What's coming? I no, think that you've already shown me that. I don't care. Do you want to stop this? Then leave. Wow, he's done. That's how you save everyone. Okay. He's done. I mean, I feel that. I mean, honestly, she frames you for murder and you're locked in a cage in a cell with huge chains around your neck and your waist. I would be done also. This is insane. All you wanted to do was draw pictures of her, you know, take her to the ball. And this is how you ended up. <laughs> That's hilarious. This prophecy cannot come true if I'm not here. So we're gonna... Come on, hug. You're right. We can do it. Not hugging is kind of our thing. The plan wasn't to get you expelled. We're sorry. Shut up.
You should never told. I'm so glad I caught you. I was weeding my wolf's pane and I just completely lost track of time. One of nature's deathliest. Man, is Thornhill not a suspect anymore? I don't know. Two seconds later. I can't wait to see what you do next. Thornhill's still a suspect. Yay, Eugene. Eugene was such a light to this very dark show. I shouldn't have gone to the dance. I should have been with you. When the dance floor calls, you gotta answer. <laughs> that night in the woods, someone set fire to that cave. Dr. Kenbot. No, so it can't be. I just saw someone wearing black and those boots. It can't be. What about her boots? Orange? Are they orange? An explosion of light. Were they red and orange? I thought that they weren't black. What color was that? They were red. What color was that? Bro, I am too good at what I do. Should I be a detective? Should I change careers? Oh, it's just so crazy how right I am. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. Wednesday. I thought you'd be halfway to New Jersey by now. You can drop the act, Laurel. And she's Laurel. Faking your death, securing a job at Nevermore, unlocking a hide. Yeah, you've been here for a year, but you know the secret passcode. Can't throw out wild accusations. No, it's you, Miss Ma'am. They may be wild. And how do you know Tyler? Tyler told me everything. <gasps> I incorrectly accused Kimbot of using hypnosis. You incorrectly accused a lot of people. You manipulated him by showing him what his mother truly was. But eventually, he willingly became your servant. Wow. Ugh, that's enough. Knew it. Blonde hair, take that wig off. Once again. You've underestimated. Wait, she hates outcasts? Heard enough? Shapeshifter! Period. <laughs> Period. Come on. Come on. Weems, you is too tall to be letting her get the upper hand on you like that. I'm so glad that her shapeshifting abilities came back into play. Weems. <laughs> no, Weems cannot die. Are, are you serious? I love Weems as a principal. Thank you, poison it. A fitting end, don't you think? Laurel, are you kidding me? Yes, thing. Yes, thing. And these two. Well, we need a good for Enid. I'm glad that they're working out. Some ship has to thrive. Eugene, how are you? Have you seen Wednesday? Principal Weems and her went and confronted Miss Thornhill. Who are the nightshades? Thing, that was a secret. That was a top secret thing. <laughs> that was confidential. Calm down. Eugene, no, you cannot go. John is a moron. <laughs> He really is. He really is a moron. He's a pea brain. You need to call the sheriff. Mom, I've got to go. No, I'm so done with the sheriff. We're done with the sheriff. It's hive code. It's hive code, but Eugene, please be safe. Tyler, you rat, dirty bastard. Kind of a deja vu thing we got going on, huh? Let me get the Except that I won't cry and whine like a child. Right. <laughs> Dignity over here. <laughs> Listen to your master and be a good little hide. Yeah, be a good little doggy. Be a good little doggy. And I'm sorry, Tyler, but your beast form is hideous. You're actually very ugly. You know, we have roots that go all the way back to Joseph Crackstone. Knew it. Until his life was cut short by your ancestor, Goody Adams. As she should. They stole his land to build that abomination of a school. So you are a little bigot. Oh, I mean, I suspected her from the beginning. And you know, as Wednesday said, it feels great to be right. Even though she was wrong when she said it. No tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. Tyler's been collecting all of these body parts to resurrect Crackstone. What the? One man who nearly succeeded in eradicating the outcast. But y'all are normies. How are you going to do that? Only one of her direct descendants can open it. You were the key. The oh. I and I made you feel special. Made me feel special, girl. Everything you were saying to me went through one ear and not the other. Quiet. Chip. Yago, what's up? You get on my last nerves. Be at the Neptis. <laughs> Game. Bunny bit it. Oh. Whoa. Lame. I am of your blood. Ew. He looks disgusting. My vengeance will be swift and true. Ew. He's a monster. You know what he looks like? How does he even have powers? He looks like someone from some Disney movie. If you ever see Mostly Ghostly, he looks like the bad guy from there. Or he looks like, he also looks like Palpatine. <laughs> He's just like a bunch of people mixed together. Sweet dreams, Wednesday. <laughs> wow. Thornhill, you're a little butt licker. That's all you are. I can't believe you're in a secret society and you didn't tell me. It's secret. You know, <laughs> it's secret. <laughs> 
We have to get everyone in the school to safety before it's too late. Okay. Nightshades forever. <laughs> Did Thing do the snap? <laughs> Thing is so hilarious. Crackstone must be stabbed through his black heart. He's a powerful talisman. It will allow me to pass through you and heal you. Okay, that's convenient. Once I do, you will never see me again. Oh, well, that was, it was nice knowing you. Why are we stopping in the middle of the woods? Trace my kid? You have a tracker on him? Your little monster? Right, your little monster. Tracking your little monster. If you've been tracking your little monster, you should know that he's an actual monster. You obviously haven't been tracking him enough. Danger is on its way. No time to delay. Having sirens at this school is dangerous, bro. Oh, she's gonna woof. Oh my god. It's time. Oh my god, oh my god. It's time, girl. Like a cockroach. This will not end well for you. It's the fact that he could rip me to stress right now, though. Ew, you're so ugly. You're literally so disgusting. I should have known it was you. You have the same hair. Yes, Enid. Yeah. Period, girl. Yeah, look at her hair. Yeah, you had him that. <laughs> I, I, I gotta go. Be gone, or I will count thy tongue from thy wretched mouth. No, no, you know who he looks like? The leprechaun. The leprechaun, bro. Mixed with Palpatine. Mixed from the guy from Mostly Ghostly. <laughs> thing! It has to be Thing, right? Yay, Thing! Yes! Yes! Sheriff, I don't want you to die, but I really hope that your son kills you because you have been getting on my nerves this entire show. Yeah, go look at your son. Look at the monster that he is. Ooh. Son, is that really you? Son, is that really you? Like, <laughs> at least have a little bit more emotion when you say that. <laughs> Period. And that's on my first time as Wolf. How can thy heart still beat? What demon sorcery is this? I'm not you talking about demon sorcery when you're literally alive. Xavier, get out of there before he kills you. Yay, Xavier! You better not. Xavier, run! Wednesday, you literally don't have any more lives left, girl. We should have just ducked. Ew. Period. All her skills are coming in handy. Her karate skills, her archery, her accuracy, you know. Ooh. Okay. That's a problem. I will send you back to hell. Who did that? Who did that? Bianca. It would have been cool if it was Eugene. Because Eugene still needs to do something. Where's Eugene at? Okay, we got him. Black heart, right? We did that. We did that. I'm so glad to see Bianca and um Wednesday teaming up for a little bit. We did that. Back to the depths, the deep depths of from which you came. To the depths from which you came. What's that saying? Thornhill, we forgot about this fool. Girl, sit down. Bye. You're not even a threat. But at least I'll get to kill you, Wednesday. Girl, take that terrible wig off. Eugene! I knew Eugene had to come in. Yeah. Yeah, stinger, stinger, stinger. That's what you get from messing with Nevermore. Yes. Oh, he controls yeah. the bees. <laughs> Give it up for Enid's first transformation. Where's Wednesday? She's okay. Don't worry. Oh, Yay, hugs! Girl, you better give me a hug. Period. We just survived life and death. We just fought zombies and monsters together. <laughs> Ride or dies. Yeah. Oh, Aw. Aw, she's going home? That's it? Is it just, is it summer vacay or something? The end. Maybe. I can't believe Weems is actually dead. I loved Weems as the principal. I really loved Gwendolyn, I believe that's her name, as the principal. I thought she was so great. Such a great role ro for her. And she died for the one thing she truly loved, this school. Okay, so are we and gonna... Respect. Fine. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. She was one of us. Are we gonna have a little closure with her and Xavier? Because I need that. A little sorry I framed you for murder session? Anything? I owe you a thank you. We're getting that Benson title next year. Can't wait to see you next year.
<laughs> I'm smiling too hard right now. I hear you're a free man now. All charges dismissed. When I was in the cell, I said a lot of things. We both said things to things. Don't know a lot of people who would take an arrow for me, so. Right. Welcome to the 21st century, Adams. <laughs> I love their height difference. <laughs> a cell phone. You're right. You're gonna call me. You're gonna call me. <laughs> That's a bold move. Framing him was bold also. I'd settle for a text, though. Goodbye, Xavier. I guess that was fine. Hey, you gonna be back next semester? Yes, no, maybe. Girl, she gonna keep you running. <laughs> Chasing. Watching me. Unlike my novel, not every thread has been tied up. Will today's stalker become tomorrow's nemesis? Right, how are you gonna keep him contained? I know the suspense is killing you. There we have it. Ah, you know, I love being right. I mean, I don't know if plots are just easy to read or if I'm just good at deducing and like being a, a little detective. You know, I'm not sure if it's a universal thing. Do we all just figure out that it was Thornhill or am I just good? I don't know, whatever. You let me know, did you call Thornhill? Cause I seen, I called Thornhill as soon as I saw her. Go back to my episode one reaction. As soon as I saw Thornhill, I called Thornhill. I did not see Thornhill and Tyler being connected. But once I started suspecting Tyler, you know, they both were suspects. Yeah, but once Tyler did that terrible um, acting job, when he said, the monster's here, with no type of emotion, I, I knew it was him. Um, but anyways, um, no, my ship did not sail but Xavier. But there's potential there, you know. I can't wait. I really hope to do another season. Oh, I hope to do another season. They have to do another season. And I need my ship to sail. <laughs> I like the Xavier. From the beginning, I didn't know who to pick. I didn't know who to pick. Like, I can see all the red flags. I like <laughs> I can see a reflect. Anywho, that was a really good show. It was really, it was so good. I love whodunits in general. I love figuring out like who's doing it, who's doing that, like this type of thing. This was really good. I hope you guys enjoyed my reactions. If you want to see the full reactions to this, it's on Patreon. But you know, we're already here. We already seen everything. We see most everything already. That was really good. Jenna Ortega was phenomenal. Like, <laughs> I don't want to say this, you know. No, I'm walking on a, a thin line right now, but she may just become the new face of Wednesday. Who knows? Anywho, uh, she did phenomenal. The entire cast was really good. The plot was great. I loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, do not forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next thing we do. It's Girl Hee Bye.